guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today it is raining and we are all stuck inside, so what better time to do a closet clean out than now? Um, this is something I've been meaning to do for months and putting off because it is so much work to try on everything in your closet, but seeing how many of you guys really wanted me to do this made me feel like I had to, and I also really want to sell stuff on Depop. Definitely go check out my Depop if you see anything that you like and you want to shop it. Now is a great time to do so. Right now I have all of my tops behind me, and then these are some bins as well on the floor of stuff that I've compiled to maybe sell over the past few months. I'll also be trying on all of my pairs of jeans that I have in my dresser, so hopefully I can kick a few pairs out because I am just running out of room. It's a problem. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so see, that's a keeper. This is a keeper. This is a keeper. What is this? Oh, that's a keeper. Keeper. Okay, yeah, so let's see. Okay, so these are all definitely keepers that I've worn easily within the last month or so, so I'm gonna keep going through. This is actually a dress, not a top. It's one of my favorites. It's thrifted. This is definitely a keeper. I can't wait to wear this in the spring and summer, assuming we need to go outside. So this sweater I adore, but this one is basically the same exact thing, except it doesn't fit me very well. I can try it on so you'll see what it looks like but I think I am going to part with this one. Honestly, now that I have the sweater on, I really don't mind it that much. It's just extremely cropped, so I have to wear it with like very high-waisted things, but I don't know, I don't really mind it. Maybe I'll keep it. This is already off to a bad start. This top has like a little crisscross string detail, which is really cute. I just feel like I never wear it. I'll probably keep this. Why am I so bad at this? Oh my god. This is a top I think I'm going to pass on. It's from Hot Lava and I do love that brand, but I just don't think that this kind of color or material is very my style, so I'm gonna sell it, but I have never worn it until right now. I feel like now that I have this on, it's kind of cute, but for some reason I just never wear this because what kind of weather do you wear a fuzzy tank top in because if you wear this in hot weather you're gonna sweat like crazy but it's also not really warm i guess it would be good for just hanging out inside your house because the actual like the cut of it is very cute but i just don't wear it so this is leaving i don't know if you guys remember this but i distinctly remember thrifting this in college and including it in a thrift haul it has little smiley faces that are like turned in different directions so like some are upside down and it's really quirky and cute, that's like why I bought it, but it's just a little too out there for like my personal style anymore. I just don't think I would wear it, I haven't worn it, and it is missing a button. So if I sell this, it won't be for very much at all um, because of that, but it just has black buttons, so it would be really easy to like sew another button on. We have a few crystal moments here. I have a Juicy Couture white tank top that says Juicy. I wore this for my Juicy Mom Halloween costume, and then I also wore it when I was like a trashy cowgirl, so I feel like it's worth keeping around just for costume's sake, so I think I'm gonna keep it, even though I don't wear it in like my daily life, I guess. I could start wearing it around the house. Um, and then I also have this black crystal tank top that says Cosmic. I do still like this top because it's really tight. It's super comfortable. So gonna keep that one. But then this one I think I'm gonna get rid of because I bought it on Depop and I haven't worn it since. I really liked it online. It looked really cute on the girl, but then on me, I just find it a little too much. Like with the curved sides, like, I just feel a little self-conscious, it's just not really, I haven't gravitated towards it or worn it, it's just like a little too skin tight. Okay, I am so bad at getting rid of clothing. This top is from Hot Lava, and I want to love it, but I just haven't worn it since I got it, and I just, I feel like it needs to go to a home where someone will actually wear it, because it's a really cool piece, and it's a really cool brand, but I just feel like I tend to go for tops that are like a little more oversized or just like a little more feminine, I guess. 
I don't know. I just, I'm not 100% into it. Let me know if you are in the comments and it can be yours. This Brandy Melville top is literally so old. I think I just need to get rid of it. Like I still wear it, but it's so old. It's like all pilly and it just, I don't know. I feel like the color isn't even that flattering, but I still have it. I do still love a baby tee. Do not get me wrong. But I don't know how I feel about like a Brandy Melville baby tee. Like if I can still wear that. I don't know, I feel old to be wearing Brandy Melville. Oh my God. I bought these pants as a backup for my Halloween costume. They're like black flared hippie pants. I will be selling these on Depop for literally free if you want them. This has to go. It just isn't flattering. I can't wear things that are this cropped. If I lift my arms up, it like stops being a shirt. It looked so different on the model and then once I got it, I was like, are you kidding me? This is a Brandy Melville like skin tight bodysuit that I never wear, but it's also kind of still something good to have, I feel like. What am I saying? I have no idea. I got this top from work, obviously, and it is literally massive, but I feel like I have to keep it, especially right now because we're just hanging indoors. So I am gonna keep this one. But this sweatshirt, I pretty much never wear because it's just plain. All it has is ghost ramp embroidered on it. And I actually think I might bleach dye this. I think that could be a really great way to make this into something I would wear more often. And if it turns out cute, I will totally let you know. I will document the process. I have a Daisy Daisy TV Diamante Crystal Baby Tee, which I bought on Black Friday, so I didn't get it full price but I definitely should have returned it if I could because I just don't wear it and I've had it since November. So this is definitely going up on my Depop. I also have a pair of redone jeans in a 27. I can show you what they look like on. You can see they have like an ankle cut that is distressed at the bottom with just like a touch of distressing here and there. Um, they're pretty comfortable, they're very soft, they're just not stretchy, they don't have like a ton of stretch in the legs, but they definitely look nice and they're very true to fit 27. The next pair of jeans I have never worn because they are longer than my entire body. Uh, even though they're a size 27, these are made for someone very tall. Ugh. Okay, these jeans are from Reformation. It really sucks because I really love a good straight leg jean. I think it can be so flattering and so fun to wear like a really wide leg pant, but I feel like for my height, these just like have way too much material back here. So even if I cropped them, it just, the flow wouldn't look right. They're just made for someone really tall or someone my height wearing like really tall platforms. If that's you, you need these pants. They're really, really cute and they're really nicely made. Like, if you can't tell, I'm bummed that they don't fit me. Feels like I'm wearing like sweatpants. They're so big. This is a Unif one piece swimsuit that is in primary colors. It has like different color piping on every side and it's really cute. I wore it to a music festival when I was like 18, but I haven't worn it since and I honestly am not really sure if it even fits me anymore. It's a size small, so I'm just not gonna bother putting it on because I know I'm not gonna keep it, but it is very cute and they don't sell it anymore. This is another one that I wish fit me and it's from The Line by K and I really love that brand. It's all sustainable. Every piece I have from them, I adore. It's so chic. Um, but this I bought in a small, it's their Kim bodysuit and it just runs a little bit tight in the chest, which is a problem because I'm more of a medium in my chest, but like my shoulders are like a small, so I kind of fluctuate between those two sizes depending on the brand. And I just kind of made the wrong call on this one and then never returned it. Once this is purchased, I will honestly probably buy it in a medium on their website, so then we can match. It is now time to go through my entire jeans collection and I think the only proper way to do this is honestly just to try them all on. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'll tell you where each pair is from. So if you see a pair you really like, you can go buy them, like even if I'm not selling them. So we're, we're gonna go do that now. These are the Everlane 90s Cheeky Straight Jean and they are super comfortable. I really love the wash on them. They just honestly are a little bit short because I bought the ankle version and I should have gotten the regular, 
but I do really like these and I recommend them. They're great jeans. Now these are the Everlane cheeky straight jeans, not the 90s cheeky straight jeans. That's the only difference and I have these in the regular length, not the ankle. So these ones are not awkwardly too short on me. They are pretty much the perfect length and I really like them, but I do prefer the look of the 90s ones. They're just a little bit more vintage. These jeans are by Girlfriend from Revolve and they are the Helena jean. I really like them. They are very 90s looking and I love how long they are on my foot. Like they are a true full length jean and these are super comfortable as well, but they are definitely more of a low waist jean. My belly button is above them, whereas the other jeans go up really, really high. So it's just kind of like a different look. So I like to have these as well. I promise that these are the last pair of blue jeans. These are from Reformation and they are a kick flare jean, as you can see. So they go out at the leg and they are cropped and they are a little bit low waisted. So they're probably honestly not the most flattering jeans, but they are so soft. Like these are buttery jeans. I love wearing them. These are my favorite pair of black vintage Levi's. Unfortunately, the tab is ripped off the back, so I have no idea what number they are, but they are like a straight leg, kind of low waisted fit and they're really really buttery because they're super old and I just I love them. These are more of a charcoal jean. They are from Everlane. They are the high rise straight jean and I love these. They are so comfortable. They're probably my go to jean if I want to be comfortable. So I wear these a ton on the weekends. They just go with everything. They're really classic and I love the color. I love a good like dark charcoal wash. These are fully low rise black corduroy Tommy Hilfiger vintage jeans and I wish I could pull off the low rise but it just makes me self conscious but I think that these are a great pair of jeans so I think I'm gonna sell these on Depop. I can't remember if I've tried to sell them before. I feel like I might have but low rise jeans are coming back on trend guys. So if you have the confidence to wear them, I support you. Ooh, oh my god. I just found this pair of like army green corduroys in the back of my closet with like a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to keep. And maybe they didn't fit me at the time, but they fit me now. I think these are pretty cute. What do you guys think? I can't tell if they're, they're like in between a high and low rise waist and they still have those little like colored tabs from being from the thrift store. Surprise, I guess I just got some pants out of this fun adventure today. Oh my God, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It was extremely difficult to put these pants on. They are from Topshop. I wore them a lot in college and they just do not fit me anymore. They're also just not really my style, but I wanted to try them on because so you can see them because I know I wanna sell them. They're the Mom Jean Waist 26 Length 30. This is another pair of vintage jeans. These are Calvin Klein and I love the look of khaki jeans, but I just recently bought a pair that are a little bit better. Like I just don't need two pairs. So I am probably gonna sell these. They do have some slight like discoloration from like maybe being near other pants. I don't really know. It's like kind of like marbly blue. Okay, so the pants that I'm wearing right now are from Hot Lava and I love their skater pants. Like these are two pairs that I have that fit me really well. This pair is khaki with little flying cherubs on it. And then this pair is pink with these little goth butterflies. And this pair is black with purple dragons but for some reason this size small runs tighter than those two so i'd say this probably fits more of like an extra small or just like a smaller four maybe like a size four you should definitely get your hands on a pair of these pants whether they are from my depop or just from hot lava directly they are a small business that i love to support this is a really hard one for me you guys i bought this beautiful daisy daisy brodery dress and it doesn't really fit me and i can't get rid of it because i wanted it for so many years before i bought it like this was an investment it was not cheap and i was so excited i just thought it was gonna be like the best thing in the world and then it didn't even fit right like the fabric isn't soft like 
I don't know what I should do with it. Like, obviously I shouldn't keep it if it doesn't fit, but at the same time, they don't really sell it anymore, I don't think. I got it on opening ceremony on sale, but when I look at it, like, it still sparks joy because it's so beautiful. Red pants, obviously keeping these guys. Another beautiful dress is this bright yellow Betsy Johnson dress. And this is from the Betsy Johnson and Urban Outfitters collab, and I do really love it, but I have a very similar bright lime green slip dress that is from a thrift store and it's real silk, so I think I'd rather keep that one just because they look so similar. I just figured I should give this to someone else so that they can experience the fun of a bright slip dress. It's a size small, by the way. This is another dress from my closet that has a great memory. I wore this in some beautiful photos that I took with my friend Farah, and I love this dress. It is a fringy little masterpiece. It's a mini dress. It's so cute, but nowadays it is just really tight and short on me, and so I just don't really know where I would wear it, because like I just don't really go out that much. Like When I, when I hold this up, it kind of just looks like a skirt. Next up is a jacket. This is from Balfre, and the inside is red, which is super fun, and the back has their Lucy character on it, and it says, here today, hell tomorrow. I just don't get enough wear out of it, um, and they don't sell it anymore, I don't think. So if you are interested, this will definitely be up online. I've had this shirt for a while. I got it when I did a video with Urban Outfitters and I had it in this pile because I don't really reach for it. But now that I tried it on, I feel like I just, I love the color. I have to keep it. What do you think? Are you guys into green? This top is from IMGia, clearly, because it looks like an Instagram top. Um, in real life, this is a lot of skin to be showing, like it feels very uncomfortable. It's like basically like a bandeau top. I just never ever gravitate towards wearing it, so it just kind of sits in my closet, but I love the look of it. Like this whole neck thing is just really, really interesting and cool, like it's unlike any other item of clothing I own. Should I keep it for like a festival? I feel like that's the only time I would wear it. I've also seen people tie the bow in the front as opposed to around the neck. So that gives you like a smidge more coverage. It's just like, it's such an Instagram top. Like once you bring it into real life, it's just like, that's, what is that? Got my two pairs of vintage shorts for the summer. These are the only shorts that I own. I just hate wearing shorts, so I avoid it at all costs. But these ones I got at Reformation Vintage and they got me through all of last summer. So we'll see if they can handle another one. The last thing I have is this cheetah print button up dress that has a little wrap in the front. It's from And Other Stories and this is such like a classy dress. It's perfect for like internships and things like that. Hello, cool cats and kittens vibe. I also have this snapback from Impossible Burger. <laughs> Does anyone want this? I'll give it to you for free. So this is everything that we just went through to sell on my Depop. Thank you so much for your time and helping me go through all of my clothes, giving me some motivation to actually do it because I have been putting it off and I do feel a lot better. I know I'm gonna have some more closet space once I put all of this clothes on the floor back into my closet. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out my Depop if you want to buy anything that I showed. And that's about it. I'll see you guys with some new content very soon. Bye guys.